Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. This video is for those people who are looking for a great place to park their money as an investment, and they want to buy new construction, but they really want a bargain. The builder and the community that we're doing today is kind of hitting that trifecta of potential great deal opportunity. Um, we're in the Coventry Model Home in the Overlook at Creekside community on the east part of New Braunfels. And why do I say this hitting that trifecta? Well, because A, they have multiple inventory homes and builders do not like to sit on inventory homes. They really want to get those moved. B, we are in a community that the builders want to pull out of. They've sold most of the homes, but they got a few homes still left. So another opportunity to make a great deal because the builders motivated to get out of this community. And C, we're approaching the fourth quarter of the year and traditionally that's the best time to get a bargain from the builder because just like everybody else, they have bosses and slideshow presentations and they need to show move units moved. So you can definitely throw a a nice uh, something at the wall and see if it sticks. And in my opinion, uh, you might be able to get like $50,000 off. I'm not gonna guarantee that, but it's a potential. So uh, let's head on out to do a video tour of one of these inventory homes that might be a great bargain. This house is gonna be 291 Pasture Rose. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath, two car garage with 3,100 square feet. And as of, um, what are we at? 12 September, 2024, they are asking 479 for this house. And yeah, if you could get 50K off for this house, yeah, that would be a pretty darn good deal. Um, tax rate in this community is a crazy low, 1.42. HOA is just 600 a year. There's just so much I like about this house. There's one thing I don't like about it. We'll point that out in a little bit. But location wise, yes, we are on the east side of uh, New Braunfels. Kind of, if you go down the street I, in the area I call Buckyville, there's big Bucky's. You can have every box store you can imagine, a big Baptist restaurant, and a new community coming up like Fry Heart Valley. Um, Fry Height Valley, that's what it is, because one of my favorite restaurants right there is uh, Fry Heart, Fry Height Burger Joint. They got live music, but they're really expanding it to make it a really cool place for entertainment. All that's right down the street, Comal ISD. So there's just so much I like about this community, especially from an investment standpoint. But yeah, let's go ahead and head on inside and check out this house. This is the Granger plan, Elevation B, and also make sure you hit that like button. That does help out a lot. But right when you come in, one of the things I like about the most about this house is, holy crap, this is some serious wow factor right when you walk in. I love the wrought iron on the stairs. It is absolutely gorgeous. People get a 3,100 square foot home. Uh, say if you got this for 420 or 430, I mean, that's a hell of a deal. Um, this would be your office space. New construction it already has blinds in it and people are kind of shocked sometimes to realize just how much blinds cost. So to already have a house, having that coming in is a big advantage. But yeah, wherever you put your desk, if you want to have your desk right here, you can have your something on the wall, you can see everything coming towards your house and your uh, French door is going out. You do have a uh, powder room right there. I wouldn't say the fanciest mirrors, but we do have a store. It used to be called Garden Ridge, but now it's called At Home. You can buy uh, aftermarket frame mirrors, and holy crap, does that make a big difference when dressing up a, a bathroom? All right, we also have a formal dining room space in here. And I do like the space up above. If you want to put a big old painting or something in there, you can definitely do that. But you can use this for whatever you want to do, formal dining room. There is a breakfast nook over there. So if you wanted to turn this into a lounge, a bar area, whatever you wanted to do, you can definitely do that. Coming into the main living space, plenty of space for your, like your couches and recliners with nice wall space if you wanted to put a big old TV on there. A good sized kitchen. I definitely love the finish outs on this. They did a nice job with the lights. Lots of lighting in here. Um, you got your place for your refrigerator, Whirlpool appliances, uh, very nicely done. And 
This is not a gas community, so you are gonna have electric cooktop, so hopefully that's not a deal breaker. But this also isn't more like the, this is my final home community. It's definitely a move up community. It's not entry level, but it's kind of a nice mid-level. Uh, Coventry is, I have them in my top tier as far as construction quality. They do build a really good home. Uh, some of their plans, I've been in this plan before, and I'll go ahead and link the video tour of that other plan. It's gonna be look the same thing as this one, I think. But this is uh, one of my knocks on this. Here's the pantry. Uh, definitely, <laughs> I definitely would not call this a large pantry. You would probably have to utilize kind of the space above the uh, microwave to add some more stuff in or some of the space by where the refrigerator would be uh, just for your items that you're going to be using a lot. Now, if you can handle that, if we wanted to turn this into a rental property, uh, well, it, it's, it's, it definitely can add value to it because the square footage, 3,100 square feet, that's a lot of square footage for the dollar in, uh, in this community. It's just, yeah, that might be a deal breaker for somebody. All right, coming out. You have a decent sized backyard. Uh, for a little while, the city of New Braunfels had an ordinance on new construction that they could only sod so much. So they had to put some kind of mulching in the back part of it. When I was speaking to Coventry, they have gone ahead and uh, put sprinkler systems all throughout. So after you purchase this house, you could just put the rest of Bermuda back there and it's not gonna break the bank to do so. But that was one of the requirements they had for new construction. But a decent area, and that's something else to point out, the sun sets on the front of this house. So this is gonna be all nice and shaded. Uh, as I'm filming it, it's 2.30 and you can see the shades are already starting to creak up. You can always add, add another tree or so back there too. All right. I wanna save the master bedroom for last, including the laundry room, but for now I wanna head upstairs. I do kinda of wanna show off this little extra storage space here. You guys little Harry Potter storage space underneath the stairs. So yeah, let's head up the stairs and uh, check out this other area that I really do like this upstairs a lot. And the wrought iron on these stairs really does class this space up a lot. All right, if you want some extra spaces, wow, this place has plenty of it. You have this big loft area here with a lot of lighting in it. Um, you can do just so much. If you want to have an extra living space in here, you certainly can do that. Now, if you've got a group of kiddos, you can have this as a little kid world because they got their own extra little bonus space right in the middle of these two rooms on either side. Very neat. Now I'm not gonna, these are pretty decent sized rooms actually. Once again, I already have the blinds there. Okay, size closets. <clears throat> That's locked. That's gonna go into your attic space. But then like I said, you could have uh, your toys or something up here, a little couch or something for kids to play video games on, on that wall. However you want to do it, you can do that. And they have their own private space, including their own private bathroom. So you get a full bath, tub, shower combination. Once again, can definitely, for like 40 bucks, get a framed mirror and dress that up a lot. This bedroom's going to kind of mirror the other one. Maybe a a little bit bare closet. I got two layers and a little spot over there. All right, now we've got a total of four bedrooms upstairs. The master is down. We're gonna get to that last, but I do like to have a little power outlet right there. But you come right over here and you kind of got the same setup again. So yeah, if you want to turn one of these into another office, so you got two, People needing offices or a workout room. This one's even got a bigger closet on this side. Or a workout room, you can definitely do that. Because they're also gonna be sharing another full bath up here. So yeah, if you've got a group of kiddos, you can put four of them upstairs or three of them upstairs and a guest bedroom if you wanted to. 
So this the other bedroom, let's see how the size of this closet. Once again, about the same size of the other bedroom. Huh? I think the bedroom I was just at had the biggest closet, but that's a pretty good size one. We just passed the little linen closet. But I do like the look and the layout of this house a lot. Let's head on downstairs and go check out that master bed. Master bedroom. At the end of the slide, I am gonna put all the other available homes. Uh, most of them are due, gonna be finished in October, but this one's rated right now. So you have definitely your most negotiating room on a house that's completed. There's one that I really do like the layout, but uh, I'm gonna wait a few weeks, let them get closer to being finished. Laundry room with a really cool tile. Gonna have kind of your standard two car garage, two water heaters, and plumb for water softener. All right, coming into the master bedroom on the first floor, which is very important. You have a pretty decent sized master bedroom. All these fans, I mean, all these lights are gonna be blocked for a ceiling fan, so you can definitely do that after the fact. But you got two little French doors coming into the uh, master bath. Dual vanities for the little makeup spot. Once again, go to at home, get some better mirrors. But I do like the light fixtures a lot. We do have a uh, shower. Didn't see where that light was. There we go. So a nice shower with a bench. Your water closet for the toilet. And then a decent size master bedroom closet with a shoe rack, but they're tall enough to be a good boot rack as well. And they got two layers of uh, hang up bars. That's just a linen closet there, nothing important. Well, yeah, like I said in my intro, uh, this is the best time to try to find a house like this when a builder's trying to close out on a community. They've got, I believe, four houses in the 50-foot lot section, which is what this is, and probably like seven or eight in the 45-foot. But I'm going to leave all that on the final slide. Um, you does not cost you anything to use me as your real estate agent in these. Uh, low tax rate, low HOA fees. So yeah, if you're looking for investment home, if this one doesn't fit your needs, stay tuned. After my little walkout thing, I'm gonna show you all the rest of them at the end of this slide. All right, I said slide, I meant after my little exit video. Now, uh, of those plans that could be at the end, the Goodrich, I've sold that one before, and that is a wonderful plan by Coventry Homes. It's gonna be finished sometime in October. Wasn't quite video worthy just yet, but you can get an amazing deal on it. Anyways, if you did like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And if I'm the reason you're kind of coming to Coventry Homes and you're not already using a real estate agent, Remember, the builder, they're gonna pay for my fees already with no extra cost to you. So please don't go this process alone. But if you already have a realtor, stick with your realtor. But if not, feel free to give them my name or just shoot me a text. All my contact information is gonna be on the final slide or in the description box. If you wanna schedule a Zoom, in, Zoom meeting with me, that's a wonderful way to get to know me and ask some questions. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Take care now, bye.